expanding parameters in the timeline will take up more and more space. To move up and down, you can use the scroll bar on the right side of the stack. You can also click with the middle mouse button to scroll vertically or use the mouse scroll wheel. After zooming in the dope sheet, you can use the spacebar to navigate in the timeline, just like in the viewer. Remember that to access keyframe related functions, you need to click on the empty box or square button on the left that brings up a circular menu. If this button has an empty square, it means that this parameter has no keyframes. If there's an empty diamond, it means that this parameter doesn't have a keyframe at this specific time in the animation, but it has keyframes at other points in time in the animation. If you move the playhead to a keyframe, you'll see that this icon fills up. The same thing happens if you snap the playhead to the keyframe on the right. This menu also has buttons that let you jump directly to the keyframe to the right or left. But note that if your parameter has more than two keyframes, just like in our case right now, the menu for jumping to the next or previous keyframe will close. To keep this pie menu open, you just need to press the Control or Command key before clicking on one of these buttons. This way, you can quickly jump from keyframe to keyframe. To delete a keyframe, simply select it and press the Delete key. Selecting the name of a parameter will do the same thing as selecting all of its keyframes. You can also go back to the keyframe menu and select Remove Animation, and all keyframes for this parameter will be deleted. Use the Undo command to revert changes and go back to having the two keyframes. In this video, we went over how to navigate in the stack and dope sheet, jump from keyframe to keyframe, and delete keyframes from a parameter.